Welcome to this product training session from Max Tech. Today we're going to be focusing on sensors, analyzers, and the IMAX2 phototherapy mask. To give you just a little bit of background on Max Tech, uh, Max Tech was founded in 2000, so we're just over two decades old. We have over 160 employees and we're based out in Salt Lake City, Utah. MaxTech products are used in a range of applications, including high flow oxygen therapy, ventilator support, medical gas sensing and monitoring, oxygen therapy, as well as neonatal phototherapy, eye protection, IV poles, and other accessories that are associated in these markets. So MaxTech's product focus is very focused on oxygen analysis and delivery. AARC is the American Association of Respiratory Care, but respiratory groups throughout the world and protocols in many hospitals actually emphasize the importance of monitoring medical gas that's administered to patients to alleviate the risk of some of these negative events that can occur when the wrong amount of oxygen is delivered. So most of MaxTech products are built with the, with the guideline in mind that this delivered gas should be measured and monitored frequently. Some of the things that can happen um, if too much or too little oxygen is delivered can range in severity, but many of them can be very serious. So MaxTech's mission and our products were developed to help clinicians who want to prioritize patient safety and streamline patient care when delivering oxygen to patients. In our journey to fulfill this purpose, We've also identified additional areas that we've expanded our expertise, including ways we can serve in the neonatal market, which is why we have our IMAX phototherapy mask. MaxTech products can primarily be split into three product segments. So we have a full line of products that assist with oxygen sensing, oxygen delivery, and oxygen analysis and monitoring. In addition to these, we also offer some key neonatal products and other products such as IV poles with a trademark space savings design. And we also have our brackets, hoses, and other accessories that can be used with these core products. So now we're gonna talk a little bit more about MaxTech's oxygen sensors. MaxTech has over 40 replacement sensors for both medical and industrial applications. The main value prop about our sensors that is really differentiates us from our competitors is that our sensors have a long life. And we even have something that we call our red tape. It's a red oxygen barrier tape. And what it does is all of our sensors will come packaged with this red tape on them. And that red tape keeps the sensor from being exposed and it essentially just prolongs the life of the sensor um, by restricting that oxygen exposure until it's in use. So if you have our sensors that are sitting on a shelf or if they are um, not being used on a product yet, their life is being extended because of that red barrier tape that's protecting them from being exposed. We also have a lot of internal and external support um, at MaxTech to help with our sensors for any technical support and also um, sales support as well. We actually have a sensor finder tool on MaxTech's website. If you go to our sensor page on MaxTech.com, you can find our sensor tool that's very interactive and it has a lot of filters that you can use to filter down what sensor you're looking for. You can choose based off of application, output range, response time, and there's a lot of different parameters that you can use to select which sensor you're looking for. And then we also include a list of some of the key products that our sensors are used in or the sensors that they can replace. So if you're ever looking for a sensor and you're not sure exactly what you're looking for, it makes it really easy for you to find what sensors are compatible for the application you're looking for. So now we're going to talk a little bit more about MaxTech oxygen analyzers. So an outsider might see MaxTech's portfolio of oxygen analyzers and wonder why we have so many devices that seem to do the same thing 
which is to measure oxygen concentration. So the reason is because we realize that, for one, different customers have different budgets, but we also have products that can neither be used as a small element in a bigger setup with other products, or we have products that perform the functions that would typically take multiple products to do. So depending on the application and use that these analyzers are being used in, we really have developed options for a range of setups and situations. So it really just increases the likelihood that we would have something for any customer. So we're gonna go through each of those options to show you what the differences are between them and the value that each of them bring. Starting with the Handy Plus Oxygen Analyzer, the Handy Plus is an affordable option to spot check, which is when you're just checking oxygen concentration on demand. So this would not be an ideal option if you want constant monitoring. This is really ideal for those situations in hospitals, clinic, or home care settings where you just wanna quickly confirm the oxygen concentration you're delivering. Um, this comes with a flow diverter and T adapter that you can use. It quickly hooks up to the line that you're checking the oxygen levels on. And to calibrate it, you just have to hold down the calibration button for about three seconds to calibrate to either room air or 100% oxygen. It's very durable and it has a silicone case that protects it. We've actually heard from customers that have dropped it and really beat it up that it still works um, so it's very durable uh, and its lifetime depends on usage, but we've heard from customers that have had their handy last from five to 10 years. It even has an auto off function, which helps extend that life. If you forgot to turn it off, it will automatically turn off. And it also doesn't require any maintenance, so it has a really low cost of ownership. It comes with a two year warranty and then the downfall for the Handy Plus is that it is disposable after time. So the internal sensor, it's not replaceable. So once the sensor stops functioning and reaches the end of its life, that whole unit will need replaced. Um, but really this is the most ideal inexpensive solution for portable oxygen analysis. So the Maxo2 Plus oxygen analyzers have the same benefits of the Handy. Um, but with the Handy, once the sensor reaches the end of its life, the entire analyzer is done and it needs replaced. But with the Maxo2 Plus analyzers, you can replace the two AA batteries and the oxygen sensor once they expire, which makes the lifetime of this analyzer really extensive. The AA batteries give the analyzer a 5,000 hour operating life with the sensor lifetime being dependent on usage. You might be wondering why there are two versions of this analyzer. The Maxo2 Plus A, which you see on the left, has an internal sensor similar to the Handy, and it's best used with oxygen concentrators and some newer respiratory equipment, where the Maxo2 Plus AE option provides the capability to have an, ex an external oxygen sensor which comes in handy wherever an inline analyzer is required, such as with older ventilators and oscillators. The sensor on the AE is attached by a coiled cable that can stretch up to 10 feet. So the handy was ideal for spot checking, which these analyzers are also good for, but these can also be incorporated into a more permanent setup for constant analyzing as well. So these analyzers also include that quick one-touch calibration in the two-year warranty that the Handy offered. And then in addition, the Maxo2 Plus Oxygen Analyzer has an integrated weekly calibration reminder for those instances where it is a part of a more long-term oxygen delivery setup. This analyzer comes with a lanyard, flow diverter, and T-adapter, and then the AE unit comes with a dovetail bracket for mounting to a wall or pole as well. Now talking about the Maxo2 ME oxygen analyzer, this is our premier option in our analyzer group and it actually falls into the category of being an oxygen monitor. So the definition we use to differentiate analyzers and monitors is that a monitor includes alarms. So it alerts clinicians when the oxygen levels fall outside of uh, the level that they set. 
So you'll notice that the ME has a lot more buttons than the other analyzers. It has the added buttons that you can use to adjust alarm parameters. So if the clinician wants the device to alert them if the oxygen concentration goes outside of the levels they set, they can choose the upper limit and lower limit that they want to stay within. This is completely customizable, but it's also very common for clinicians to want to set these alarms within 3% above or below their goal oxygen level. So we actually have what we call a smart alarm button, and that is something they just have to push and it will automatically set the alarm levels within 3% of where they're at. The alarms, are, the alarms are both audio and visual with a beeping sound and flashing light for when the oxygen concentration goes outside of that set level. And then if the clinician decides that they want to deactivate the alarms, that is an option. They can choose to turn those off with the alarm off button. The other button that you notice is a backlight button. So this activates a backlight on the screen for a low light environment, which is ideal um, for making sure you're not disrupting patient comfort in those dim settings. And it makes it really easy the, for the clinician to see the screen. It also has a DC power port, which that gives the option of plugging the device into an outlet and then the battery life's no longer a concern, but it does have a cordless life of up to 5,000 hours with AA batteries, uh, similar to the Maxo 2 Plus. So it basically just has both options if you want battery or wall power. And then for mounting, it has a kickstand for a tabletop option, but it also can be mounted to a dovetail bracket on a wall pole or a rail. And it includes that same two-year warranty as the other analyzers. So really the Maxo 2 Plus ME is ideal for adding to a blender to incorporate monitoring into your blending setup. We actually offer what we call our Maxo 2, Maxo 2 ME Blender Kit, which is a custom mounting bracket and gas manifold, which really just adds integrated monitoring to your blender setup. And it's really popular for people that already have an existing standard air oxygen blender. So the easiest way to differentiate between these, blend these analyzers that we went through is the Handy Plus is a good analyzer, the Maxo 2 Plus is a better analyzer, and the Maxo 2 ME is a, the best analyzer. And if you were to ask though between the three of these if, any of, if one is more accurate than the other, they're all equally accurate. They will all give you the same accurate readings, but they just have different things that uh, make some of them better than others for different applications. So the final oxygen analyzer that we're talking about today is the Ultramax O2. And this analyzer is actually in its own category. The Ultramax is specifically for checking oxygen concentrators, so it's a product in the home care market. And it has a target end user of oxygen concentrator service reps, home health service providers, and people like that. So the alternative option of using an Ultramax O2 is to actually combine an analyzer, a flow meter, and a pressure manometer each individually to create the setup which of course would be a lot more inconvenient and a little bit more time intensive to get to set up. Um, so the main benefit is that it performs all of these functions of recording the oxygen, the flow, and the outlet pressure all in one device. It displays really clear readings and it's easy for the medical equipment service techs to carry around and transport as it can even fit in their back pocket. In some cases, these medical device service techs are required to record that they calibrated the analyzer they're using to check equipment. And the Ultramax actually has a calibration verification button that verifies that it's working correctly. So when you hold down the button, it displays the word CalVer to confirm it's calibrated. Something that really makes the Ultramax stand out from competitors is it does have that integrated pressure monitoring. 
So the clinician or service tech just has to cover the outlet with their finger and it switches from displaying oxygen to display pressure. And that pressure can actually be displayed in either pounds per square inch or kilopascals. Because the Ultramax does not require an oxygen sensor, there's no need to replace sensors over time. So the Ultramax actually has a ultrasonic sensor built into it and that actually detects the oxygen concentration using sound waves. And that sensor is designed to last the life of the analyzer. So it has a really low cost of ownership because you're not having to purchase a new sensor each time um, the oxygen sensor goes out because there is no oxygen sensor to replace. The battery life is also 1100 hours and the AA batteries are replaceable. So really the life of this, sense, this analyzer is really long. It even has a three year warranty, which is a year longer than our other analyzers. So this chart gives you an idea just of the quick references for the differences between our four analyzer options. You can see the differences in applications, battery life, warranty, and cost. As you can see, the Handy is our most affordable option and the Maxo 2 ME and Ultra Maxo 2 are a little bit pricier, but as you realize they have a longer life and some of those additional features that make them a lot more valuable. I also did briefly want to talk about the Max Blend 2 Air Oxygen Blender. This is not just an analyzer, but it's a monitor, air oxygen blender, and flow meter all in one device. It's our premier oxygen delivery product because it has all of these elements in one device. It's ideal for increasing safety for patients with that integrated monitor that has, in, has alarms and it can alert clinicians of changes in oxygen levels before care is interrupted. It has a backlight setting to light up the screen and has those built-in mufflers to actually make it silent so patients aren't disturbed. It just adds to that comfort level for the patient. Its integrated design saves space and setup cleaning and reprocessing time. Instead of finding each of these separate products individually and creating the setup that you need, the setup's already there, already built. It cannot be disassembled, but you can add an additional flow meter if the clinician wants that option. It has a gas saving switch that can be used to actually save money on wasted oxygen over time. And we actually have a gas savings calculator tool on maxtech.com that you can use to customize your hospital setup that you have or your customer. And you can see how much money it could save you if you were to take the Max Blend 2 and replace your existing standard blenders with it. We offer this Max Blend 2 in four different flow meter range options, and it's offered with DIS, NIST, or AFNOR fittings. So this is for all patient populations from neonatal all the way up to adult. Depending on uh, the patient population that's being treated, we have something for everyone with the Max Blend 2. So switching gears from respiratory care, now we're gonna talk about the IMAX 2 phototherapy mask. So just to give an idea of the background on why the IMAX 2 was developed, it's actually for pa infant patients that are diagnosed with jaundice, which that's a condition that the patient has elevated levels of bilirubin in their blood, which is often a, a result of an underdeveloped liver. And to treat this, the patients are given phototherapy treatment, which is where they're placed under a blue light and their skin is exposed to UV rays but this light can actually be harmful to the eyes of the infant patients. So clinicians will place eye masks on them to protect their eyes. There's a lot of different versions of these protective eye masks, but there are some things that make the IMAX 2 stand out. It contributes to the efficiency of phototherapy treatment because while it protects the patient's eyes from harmful damage, the parts of the mask that don't directly cover the eye, the part that wraps around the back of their head, that actually allows some light in 
to maximize the amount of skin that's exposed. So really with phototherapy treatment, you want as much skin as possible exposed, but while protecting the eyes. It comes in three sizes and each of them are fully adjustable by two separate Velcro points. A lot of competitive options actually use an adhesive cover to, that sticks onto the patient's skin. And that can be really abrasive uh, to the extra fragile little neonatal patients. So the IMAX was created with a non-irritating latex-free material that has no adhesives. Each size of the IMAX is sold in a pack of 20 and each mask is disposable after single patient use. It's very important to use the correct size IMAX too based on the size of the patient's head to ensure that it doesn't slip away from their eyes. And we actually have a really helpful video on our website which shows how to know exactly which size is correct for clinicians to use. But as a general rule of thumb, you can see here that the IMAX regular is about the size of a melon, the preemie would be for the size of a grapefruit, and the micro is about the size of an average apple. Just to give you an idea of the sales tools and resources that we have available, we've made a lot of updates to our website maxtech.com. We're adding a lot of really helpful downloadable resources on all of our products that really explain the value behind each of them for both patients and clinicians. Uh, we also include a lot of really helpful videos on our website and also we have a YouTube channel um, that has a lot of training videos and things like that. And if you're ever looking for downloadable files or photos that are really high quality of MaxTech products, we have something called resources.maxtech.com, which is our resource center where you can find anything that you want um, if you're looking for photos or literature to share with customers. That concludes our training today on our MaxTech oxygen analyzer, sensors, and the IMAX2. For more information or to learn about our other MaxTech products, go to maxtech.com.